I welcome everyone. Welcome to our U YouTube channel. My name is Dave Clark with inspectcheck.net. And um, uh, we're also going to have this um, uh, information on our website too. And that will be homeinspectortrainingonline.com. But you could also find it right here on our YouTube channel along with some other videos. So we're doing some videos on uh, technical um, uh, parts of the home inspection. I know we've done quite a few on uh, on uh, growing your business and that's gonna remain. Um, but we are um, always looking for ways to improve our new newsletter and things like that. And so um, this is one of the ways that we can do it. So we just came off a of training and this was something that uh, opened up a lot of discussion. So I thought it would be great to start with and they're called quad breakers. Sometimes I'll call them quad plex, but it's a quad breaker. So let me uh, share my screen and let's start talking about quad breakers. We'll get right into it. And here we go. Here's an older type quad breaker. And um, what we see is that there's four handles, thus the quad, okay? And, but what we can see is, let me grab a color here. What we can see is that it's four in a space that would be only normally two. So, you know, here's the space of two. In this case, it's a duplex breaker, um, a 240 volt breaker, and, and then the quad is in the same footprint, if you will, but there are four handles there, okay, which is which is great. So why would you why would you use a, a quad breaker? Well, normally you would use it if you needed a, almost always you would use it, I should say, if you need a 240 volt circuit or maybe two 240 volt circuits. You can also use it for a multi-branch circuit, but there's some requirements for that, and we'll talk about that as we go along. If you look at the top, you'll see the minis right? Mini tandem splits, whatever you want to call them. And they take the place of one breaker and uh, there they are. All right. So let's take a look at how these, how this breaker works. Okay. In this case, we've got one 240 volt circuit and um, two 120 volt circuits. So let's take a look. And if we look here, we're, we're, they're on opposite sides of the pole. So we have 120 uh, on one side, 120 on the other. So this is, we'll say one side or left side or right side. And then this is the other side. This is easier to probably do it this way, right? So we can't make a 240 volt circuit out of these two, out of this, this green and red. And I think the color coding, you know, helps flag that if you will, but um, we can't do that because we, we're, we're only at 120 volts here. We have to pull from the other side. This is why this is configured this way, right? So these, these could be together, but these have to join. So let's take a look at this one. This is the first 240 volt we'll look at. And uh, we're just gonna write 240 there because we know that that's what that is. It should not be a multi-branch circuit because they're supposed to be internally and externally linked. And this is an older breaker. And I'm guessing that it's not internally linked or we call that a common trip this particular breaker would more more than likely be an independent trip okay so we look at the 240 volts here and we're going to come down follow this green because that's one leg 120 volt leg and there it is then we follow this green and that's going to be another 120 volt leg thus creating our 240 volts again shouldn't be a multi-branch circuit so let's switch over to switch over to uh, this color orange now here's Another, this is 120 volts and this is 120 volts and you'll see the connections are right here for that. And they're going to wherever. So this is a 20 amp breaker, so that should be a 12 gauge wire going off to where it goes. Um, uh, these are not connected, so they'll trip independently. So we're gonna call that, this is an independent trip breaker. These are connected just externally, not internally, but they would trip, that handle would cause that to trip, hopefully. Um, there, there has been some issues with that not happening, um, depending on, you know, um, the age and if there's any other situation there. But all right, so that's basically how it works. That's a quad breaker, quad plex, whatever you want to call it. And so we've taken just two spots and created a 240 volt and two. So we basically have three circuits here and what would be two spots, but then one of those being a 240 volt. So you would use that if you ran out of room and you could see that they they did it up here. They put a couple of minis and a couple of minis. So maybe more than what we want, but I'm going to show you how to look for that too in the panel. Okay. So we're going to take a look and um, at a newer one. So we would, I would recommend in this case, because I don't know 
more than likely, I mean, we got some corrosion here in the panel. It's definitely an older main service panel. When I start seeing minis, I think maybe they just need more service. We would take a look at the house and see um, if, if they need more um, uh, service, which it sure looks like they could probably use that. It looks like 200, 100 amp service coming in. But um, when I start seeing minis and things like this, I recommend they get a bigger panel and maybe bump that service up. So let's take a look at um, what maybe a new uh, breaker would look like, or a new, I should say, quadplex or uh, quad breaker. So here you go. Here's a, there's two different scenarios, and this works great. So for us. So if you look here now, now we'll see the centers are connected. Again, same situation. I'm gonna go back to the yellow, right? And so here are our two legs, right? Uh, we've got leg one here, leg one here like two, like two. So no problem connecting those two together. And there they are. They are uh, a common trip, okay? And it's written right on there. You can see it's a little bit blurry, but trust me, it says common trip, which means that they're externally and internally tripped, okay? These are gonna be separate circuits and they're um, independent trips. So this would trip independent of these, okay? Uh, even though some common trips might trip all of them, it depends on the manufacturer. But in this case, saying that these are the common trip, just this 50 amp, okay? And so that's gonna be for a 240 uh, volt circuit, you know, uh, a, a dryer stove or something, um, probably not a hot water tank. And these are independent and these are gonna be, so this will be 240. And these are both gonna be 120. And that common trip is what we like because we could only use, we talked about multi-branch circuit, we could only use a common trip for a multi-branch. So if this were a 15 or 20, I mean, you're not gonna have a 50 for a multi-branch circuit in a residence. I've never seen that, but you never know, I guess, but that would be a 15 or a 20. And then in, with the common trip noted there, we could use that for a multi-branch circuit because a multi-branch circuit can't, should not be connected mechanically. Okay, so here's two, two separate. So now they're, they're showing our three circuits, similar to what we just saw, even though a newer version, which I would recommend they upgrade that to, and we'll talk about reporting that in a minute. And we'll use orange on this one. Now this one, in this case, again, you know, it's, it's split, right? We've got uh, one and two, right? One and two. So what we're doing is we're grabbing a leg in the center, just like we did here, no different, no different than here. And we're creating 240 volts here. And then we're also grabbing these two and creating another 240 volts. Again, we wanna see, we wanna see um, a, a, a common trip for these two. So they're not only mechanically joined, but they're also joined internally. How are we gonna know that on home inspection? Short of looking at the breaker and seeing the manufacturer's number and looking it up, we're not. And that's gonna be beyond our, our inspection anyway. In this case, we're lucky because it says common trip on there, but it doesn't always say that uh, on, on the outside, but it would say it on the side of the breaker. So we're gonna recommend that the common trip breakers are used anytime it's, uh, we're, we're gonna join them together. And I think even for 240 volts, they should be common, definitely. And definitely for multi-branch circuits, they need to be common trip breakers, okay? So again, if this were a multi-branch circuit, this would be 15 or 20 and uh, they're internally and we can use that. And we'll talk more, we can talk more about multi-branch circuits. I'm gonna do another video on that and get a lot of questions. So where can we use these? And we said before that maybe that service panel is obsolete. So let's take a look at how we would know that. And how we would know that is because we would look at the legend inside the service panel and it's gonna tell us. So it says tandem breakers a lot here. That's, so if we look here, there's one line, one line, one breaker, one breaker, one breaker, one breaker, one breaker. And then here we're allowed tandems. So this would be the place right here where we, where we, could, we could put um, a, a quad breaker, okay? That would be the place or tandem breakers. But in this case, that breaker we just saw, that's where it would be. And then maybe there were the two tandems there. So if this was the, the drawing or the, um, I'm sorry, the, the schematic for that panel, then we could use that, okay? All right. 
So hopefully that helped you out. And when you see that quad breaker, you understand how it works. We always recommend that they update to a uh, common trip. I think that that's safer. And um, what I wanna do now is I'm going to open up our reporting system so I can um, show you how to, uh, how we would report it. Now let's come over here, take that one down that one down and let's get our report up. There you go. Okay. One second and I'm going to share the screen. Now you can see it. Here's our report. So how would I report that? It's an older um, main service panel. It looks like it's it's maxed out for sure. It looks like that's an older um, uh, quad breaker. So I'm gonna come right over to electric and um, we can put the service supply and all that, main service type, meter location, right? Main service cable in this case was aluminum. We can make a note of that, I guess. We can make a note of aluminum, we'll mark that section complete. Okay, and so we're gonna say that we definitely saw some, um, um, this is on the outside, so not that big of a deal. We're gonna move over here to uh, the main service disconnect and we see that it's a breaker. It's in the main service panel. It's a circuit breaker. Mark that section complete, move right along. See how quickly this, we can do this. Um, and um, we're gonna just put some moisture rust noted to the main service disconnect. We saw that coming out of the, of the conductor at the bottom. Don't really like that. We're not gonna worry about service size right now. We'll head over to service panels. And we're going to move down, and the branch disconnects for circuit breakers. We'll note that sub panel, we don't have that. And then we're going to make a note right down here unsatisfactory connections, improper wiring. Not a fan of that. Recommend these areas. Uh, and we put in their quad breaker. I already wrote that in because I was doing another class, but we just put in quad breaker. Okay. And then I'm going to say recommend updating to a um, common trip. And let's give the uh, electrician just a little heads up, but he would probably look at that and make that notation anyway. The other place I would note it too is 240 volt circuits right here. And I would put recommend the quad breaker is updated by a licensed electrician. Okay, and you can put updated uh, by a licensed electrician. Um, Install common trip. That's it. Mark that complete, and we're done. And that thing that is that is noted now. Okay. So I hope that helped you out. Um, I know a lot of people have questions on them. Again, we're not gonna know if they're internally. I mean, we were lucky the one actually was written on there that was common, but we don't necessarily know that. We could just tell by the age of that breaker, the age of the service panel, and the fact that there's really no, you know, not too many open slots left, if any, um, that it may be time for an upgrade. Um, even though they they allow minis and, and split breakers, I'm not a huge fan of having to put them in because why are we putting them in? Because we need more, we need more service. So hope you found it helpful and um, make sure you uh, check out our YouTube channel for other videos and homeinspectortrainingonline.com. What I'd like you to do if you would is subscribe to the channel here. This way when new videos come out and we're gonna, we're gonna put them with our newsletter. So I think they'll enhance the newsletter. But when new videos come out, you'll be the first one to find out um, and you can check it out. So um, please subscribe and uh, the other videos on the channel are things that might help you grow your business also and technical. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you very much and uh, see you next time.